this, other than being a pyrotechnic, uh, is called the death mix. There are a number of different death mixes and they have that name for very good reason in that you have to be very careful when you're handling these chemicals, especially when they're all together. November the 5th is a special celebration day in the United Kingdom and particularly in England. We're going to make our own fireworks because it's coming up to bonfire night here. In 1605, on November the 5th, there was a plot to blow up the Houses of Parliament when the King, James I, was opening the Houses of Parliament. In our beaker, uh, we've got something very dull and mundane, that's charcoal. But you need the charcoal because you're going to add to it sulphur, as we're doing here. Guy Fawkes was found in the cellar of the Houses of Parliament with a large amount of gunpowder. Barrels and barrels and barrels. It was clear that the next day he was going to try and blow it up. What we're adding as well is something called potassium chlorate. Ever since there has been a celebration on November the 5th with fireworks. I think probably this is a much older celebration and festival which somehow has got changed from some sort of pagan festival into the celebration of the deliverance of the king, but I'm not sure. And November the 5th, and usually the two Saturdays on either side of this, people let off a lot of fireworks. And whenever one thinks of fireworks, of course one thinks about the chemistry that makes them work because a firework is, after all, a fairly controlled explosion and one that produces dramatic visual effect, usually by including something that burns or gives out a bright light in the reaction mixture. So when you use this stuff, you have to be very careful. So often people add transition metal salts like copper that gives green or sometimes boron that gives green, strontium that gives red and so on. And the final thing I'll add is the strontium nitrate. And if you've seen our other videos, you'll know what colour strontium gives you. They also sometimes put in zirconium powder that gives very bright sparks, as you may have seen on our video. Sam and Neil have got a strange mixture which I've never heard before in this context, which Sam calls the death mixture. None other than our silent rogue, that is the chemical stig. He is an expert on fireworks and when I told him that I'd found a chemical reaction that I wanted to do, the first thing he said was, you're making a death mix. Essentially the sulphur is burning and the potassium chlorate provides the oxygen. My colleague Pete Licence likes to call it bottled oxygen because it's oxygen in a very concentrated form and as you heat it up it gives out the oxygen gas which then combines. So essentially you're burning sulphur and using the heat of this burning, of this combustion, to vaporise metal salts that give nice colours. It got so hot in the centre of that reaction that it's actually um, heated the sheet metal and it's caused it to slightly indent and bend. Brilliant reaction, uh, homemade fireworks as it were, uh, but the best thing about a chemistry reaction is the repetition making sure that you can do the same reaction again uh, and altering it slightly to make it more interesting. So we've already had red fire, let's go for green this time. Do you ever celebrate fireworks night, Guy Fawkes night? Have you got much of a history with it or are you normally tucked up in bed by then? Um, I have done, when my children were younger, I used to celebrate it and so on. But being a safety officer, I insisted they wear, wore safety glasses and so on which I think for my poor children took a bit of a shine off the event. And finally, the thing that's going to give us the green fire, and it's barium nitrate this time. When I was at school, at the age of about 11 or 12, I was at a boarding school where I lived at the school, and some of the boys decided for Guy Fawkes Day they would make a really big rocket by joining together lots of different rockets so that this would be a huge event. 
but unfortunately they didn't understand enough about the physics of it. So although it was set off by one of the school teachers, because it, children can't have matches, it rose in the air a few feet and then it was just unstable and crashed to the ground and stars shot in different directions. We were all watching through the windows and we were very disappointed because we thought it would go almost to the moon. Oh, that's cool. Hey Brady, it's Destin over here in America, specifically Alabama. We know a thing or two about bonfires as well. And while I think it's pretty awesome that you guys have a specific day where you have bonfires, we do it pretty much any day we want. Anyway, if you want to check out how we make bonfires, come check out my channel, Smarter Every Day. I'll show you how we do it with rockets. Take it easy. Bonfires? What do you think about that? Please. 